This is such a bad, <laughs> this is such a bad deck. All right, what wins me in this game? The thing is, if I have Unyielding Spirit, I do have literally infinite value, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, next up. Can we win a single game of Legends of Runeterra with 40 fast speed spells? Now, you guys might have seen we did slow speed spells earlier. That was kind of part one. And we're going to be doing burst speed spells at the end. Uh, but this episode is going to cover the ability to, do, to actually build a functional deck with 40 fast speed spells, which I'm not looking forward to. There's going to be almost no summons. If you haven't seen the slow speed video already, make sure to watch that one first because they're kind of in an order. That one's in the pins comment below the video. You, you can go watch that one now and then come back to this one. But basically, we are going to beat a normal game of Legends of Runeterra using a deck with 40 fast speed spells. We cannot play anything that's not a fast speed spell from our hand, even if we somehow get it into our hand when it's not in the base deck. And that's it. That's the challenge. So yeah, this one's going to be a lot harder than slow speed spells. And honestly, I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it. All right. Now we, we start getting a little bit harder. All right. The medium level challenge, 40 fast speed spells. All right, 40 fast speed spells. Let's, uh... <laughs> and this is where I'm honestly... I know that 40 fast speed spells is going to be harder than 40 slow, but I literally don't know how much harder. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the dark at this point. All right. So let's do 40 fast speed spells. I don't even know what regions I would build this in. Oh God, <laughs> oh geez. So keep in mind, <clears throat> keep in mind, it's a little bit difficult because we do need, we are going to need to, we, we can't just play burn, right? It, we need units. It, it's easy to say just run 20 damage of burn and fast speed spells. And that's not technically impossible, but that's not gonna win any game ever. Like we, we need units or, or there's no way to win, I think reasonably speaking unless the opponent's deck is so bad because like every time we use a burn spell i mean the opponent will kill us if we're just trying to assemble like 10 burn spells to win the game right and unless we're using ones that can kind of like control the opponent's board while i kill them which is uh, actually zero fast speed burn spells that would apply to like true shot barrage or like electro harpoon but not the fast ones we're, we're we're gonna die before we have enough before we have 20 damage right so we're gonna need some kind of summon, right? Can I filter by fast speed spells? It doesn't look like I can filter by fast speed spells. All right, we're just we're just we're gonna need some kind of summon. So what are our options? What are our options if we're getting a little creative? Well, there's Concussive Palm. Ugh. <laughs> Is that, that can't be, that can't be it. I think there's, there's like a, there's one more, right? possession isn't possession slow my friend <laughs> oh god wait it's not just palm there's vile feast there's vile feast that's a unit oh jesus oh god yeah no this so this just got a lot harder this just got a lot harder because keep in mind the rule is we can't play cards from hand so unspeakable horror we 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 won't be able to just play these right like we have to just use 40 fast speed spells. We can summon, but we can't play. <laughs> so yeah, our only units, am I, am I correct in saying literally the only units we have access to are Vile Feast, Concussive Palm, and other units that we can kind of create off of those, right? Like for example, there's, I don't know, this fucking card that can recall the spider into my hand and then summon a living shadow, right? <laughs> blades you can uh, summon the blades from duet true duet will deal damage duet will actually deal damage tricky tentacle because enemy cards have more value yeah Trixie tentacle works Trixie tentacle does work shadow shift plus palm is genius yeah shadow shift plus palm is is maybe the only way we can do it okay so what about some kind of combo kill, right? So here's what I'm thinking. 
we can't outvalue with just like a palm nonsense, right? Is there some way we can like buff something? Like, could we set up for a, a combo kill using the, the tail of the dragon in some way? Like, we can't give it elusive. Can we buff it in like atrocity? Unyielding spirit can outvalue. Oh God, that's true. Unyielding spirit, the tail of the dragon. Ah, Jesus. I mean, it's infinite value. That might be our win condition. Recall. I mean, recalling this is cute, but it doesn't do anything. Cause like stunning them every turn doesn't accomplish anything unless we have a win condition, which we don't. <laughs> we, we, we do not. And judgment. I think this is the play. I think the way, the only way we can win this is actually with Demacia. We need to cheese out a win with literally unyielding spirit or judgment. This hen, Hextech Transmogulator. Hextech Transmogulator is actually kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, that, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> Hextech Transmogulator, huh? I will say being in Demacia for this challenge does not sound like a good time. Also, I'm noticing Ionia also does... Wait, there's not that many fast speed spells in this game. Hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this right? There's a, there's literally this one I haven't crafted yet. <laughs> All right. I'll craft you just for this fucking challenge. But like, wait, 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 wait. Is this even 40? If I wanted to be in Demacia Ionia, this is barely 40 cards, I think. Oh, God. Yeah, it's more than 40. Like, we'd be able to do the challenge, but like half of our deck would be literally useless. Like, actually literally useless. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Okay. That's really bad. I mean, Shadow Flare is actually going to be useful. Shadow Flare with Unyielding Spirit is kind of genius, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> go get it can clone palms effectively yeah so go get it can clone me palms because if i recall the palm and put an exact ephemeral copy in place if i then have more mana to recall the ephemeral one that turn it will lose ephemeral and it will become a new palm in my hand right detain yeah detain is sick here for sure we can we can do this with the honestly we can do this we can do this we can do this with these colors Demacia is genius here. Whoever suggested Demacia, th this, this is the right answer. It has to be the right way to do it. We're not, <laughs> not going to do this on our first try, are we? No way. Deathmark is actually a sick combo, by the way, with like, go get it. I just want to say that. It's not Shadows of the Past. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> these, these, these cards are all so useless, and yet Shadows of the Past is still is still just bad. Lead and follow, it's actually also not. As funny as Deathmark is, it's probably wrong. Remember, what does this do? Pick an ally being targeted by thing things with only one target? Stop them. But why? <laughs> Memories Cloak, why do you exist? Worse than I? Yeah, even, even deny would be better than that for sure. Strafing strike. I don't think I'll need strafing strike between like single combat. It, single combat is only useful basically if I have unyielding spirit. But we are gonna need to outgrind, right? We're gonna we're going to need to effectively just like stall out the opponent. You know, concerted strike. These palms have three attack. I kind of wish these palms didn't have three attack. Because concerted and single are just not looking so hot. The thing is, <clears throat> here's the thing though. That's really, really important to understand because this deck needs a win condition, right? And if we're just recalling them over and over again, it's not helping us in any way. Slowing down their tempo doesn't help because our win condition is to outvalue, right? So as weird as it is, we need single combat and we need concerted strike because those actually kill things. And even detain will, will effectively remove things. If, if they can't remove my unit, then detain shuts them down, right? But like Will of Ionia and Homecoming, Homecoming might be kind of useful, but... I, I think I just need ways of eliminating threats permanently, right? Like, if we're just recalling our opponent's threats, they, they just play them again. Our win condition is attrition. Our win condition is to starve them out of resources, right? 
and so we we need stuff like even shadow flare like even even though um concerted strike and and uh, strafing strike even though these are bad cards they do actively press the opponent's value out right whereas wills don't affect the value at all they in fact if anything they often negatively affect the value because the opponent gets to like get summon triggers again right <clears throat> like we need we need to value out grind in which case shadow shift will actually help us get there right shadow shift is going to be really really important because we can value out grind with this in ways that the one mana recall can't do right that, that's that's really really important we can use this when we're blocking and get a living shadow which is going to kill an additional thing right the shadow shift is going to be essential here and we're just playing for value and we can even combine shadow shift with death mark ah oh, that's so good <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. That's thank God for that. <laughs> All right, this is this is not going to be great. This is not going to be very hot. Oh, yeah, retreat return, I guess, is useless. All right, we can run two recalls. We can run three denies and one strafing strike. And this deck is looking perfect. This deck is looking great. This whole deck depends on palm. Yeah. But this build actually makes a lot of sense. Like I said, it sounds weird because like in normal rules of gameplay, cards like Will and Homecoming would be a lot better than cards like Deathmark. But for the purposes of how this deck even could possibly win a game, we are entirely dependent. We are entirely dependent on being able to remove opponent stats permanently. We have to be thinking about the long-term value of these plays, right? So we can't run a lot of cards that we would normally run. Like even Steel Tempest might be a zero of, right? All right, all right. We've, we've got the best, the genius concept. This one always works, let's go. Okay, so you guys might notice uh, we don't have Palm in the sand. <laughs> We got palm. We got palm. It's Udir. This is so easy. <laughs> it's Udir from. This is actually so easy. The elk of Rome summons me. I forgot to attack. What an idiot! <laughs> All right. I mean, I could just play the palm now. Like the stuns aren't really gonna do anything, right? I kind of need mana efficiency. I mean, he can't even attack with these, right? Wait, this is so free. All right, the mana efficiency, I think, is too important. We need to be able to Shadow Flare next turn if we need to. So I've got to just play my palm. I've got to shoot my shot. All right, I can I can get a free attack with this, though, right? Wait, that's sick. <laughs> Am I single combating this? I don't think it's a threat. I don't think it's a threat. We're good here. All right. It's a threat. <laughs> it's a threat. All right. Am I detaining the big one? It's a zero five. That's terrifying. Like, what do I actually do here? We have to save Detain for like an Udyr or something. But the thing is, Udyr at least dies to Shadow. Like the Shadow Flare is actually going to be how we win this. So we need to like Shadow Flare. Okay, the Shadow Flare Steel Tempest combo is going to be how we win this, right? That sounds kind of sick. He's attacking with Tail the Dragon safe here. This attack does not look safe. Like even a little bit. <laughs> oh God. All right, Jack the winner. I'm basically going to need to remove this. Sleep with the fishes is no good for me. I've uh, just uh, I've just got to detain that. <laughs> hmm. Detaining that <clears throat> in this hand looks a little sussy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to hope he attacks with Jack and then Shadow Flare it. Oh God. Dude, 
All right, all right. We're gonna start. We're gonna start by single combating this. That's fine. Okay, so he we got the troll chant out of him. We're a genius. He's threatening to make his guy bigger, but unbeknownst to this guy. By giving his unit more attack, now he'll attack with it and he'll die to Shadow Flare. You see? I could nopify my own single combat, but I need his unit to have one attack, so he feels priced into attack with it, so my Shadow Flare works, right? This is actually the most important thing. This is the most important thing. I need the Shadow Flare to kill his unit. The question is, is there a way I can damage his other Bone Scryer? <clears throat> If I attack with my tail of the dragon, I mean, he'd probably just block with the jack like a normal person. God, I really just need to bait him into attacking with the last bone scryer. It's it's the only way to do it. I think there's no benefit to recalling. We're just going to bait him into the biggest shadow flare value ever. Maybe he'll sleep the fishes with it pre. We got the other palm. This is actually so free. <laughs> this is literally the dumbest hand ever. Oh wait, he attacked with it anyway. <laughs> all right, give all battling followers ephemeral. So they're all dying this turn. We can save a little bit of health if we want to by blocking with this, but we don't have enough mana to use our other palm. We can steal Tempest. I'd be okay. You know what? Honestly, though, it's just six damage, right? We need to save Nopify in case he does something weird, right? I think I think recalling this one makes sense. Yeah, I think recalling this one does make sense. We're actually going to need to save the damage. It's too important. The other Scryer survives. Yeah, I mean, it survives this combat step it'll die at the end of the turn but that means he can't use sleep with the fishes on it which is a little annoying all right ice shard this guy thinks he's so slick Woo! get out of here all right wait a second wait a second so yeah he can sleep with the fishes go ahead dude that's fine he's down to four cards left in hands now of course our hand is basically at four cards because half these cards are literally useless but the jack is done. We need more shadow flares. Uh, uh, oh, my, my auto pass. <laughs> oh God, Udyr, my worst nightmare. Okay, we have to detain that. Udyr is literally infinite value. This is a disaster. We, we must detain this. <laughs> All right, now the scary thing is Wait, we do have Nopifies for the stances. That's funny that that just works. Wrong palm? You guys, are you guys serious? <laughs> you guys, you guys got me. Wait, but he went in for the bear stance. This one I won't Nopify. It's just a, it's just a useless bear stance. <laughs> Wait a second, is this chip damage I detect? Ayo? All right, down to 17, let's go. <laughs> Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a second, wait a second. We've got both of our detains. He can't actually do anything about this. We're chipping. Dude, we're chipping so hard. Okay, so if he drags with Braum, the tail of the dragon, and I judgment him, the Braum dies. Wait. <laughs> Am I actually doing that? We need to kill the Braum. Detaining the Udyr is easy, but if he has a second Udyr, he's getting it back. We do actually need to kill this Braum. If I detain both of them, and if he plays a second Udyr, then I will actually be screwed. And the thing is, guys, once we commit detain, we won't be able to recall this anymore, right? Scar grounds? Okay, yeah, true. Yeah, judgment it doesn't work. You, 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 you guys bring a fair point. Oh, God. I think I have to... I'll detain the Udyr, and I think I do need to palm the Braum. I think I think that's it. We need unyielding so that we can actually use unyielding on our detained unit. That's how we win, right? God, this problem is actually 
gonna win him the game i think i mean we might just have to detain both of them and then just hope his hand has no other units what if we did just detain both of them if we detain both of them then we tap under this turn i think we detain the udir and we just use like uh steel tempest or the other palm i think i'll just use the other palm and then next turn we'll detain when we have more protection this is terrifying all right we've got two units out and again keep in mind we can't recall this one. Oh god ah there's just nothing we could possibly do about that well we're forced to recall i guess if i recall this one his udir takes two damage yeah that'll show him <laughs> got him Wait, in the eye, it showed Udyr taking two damage. It is easy, see? All right, whatever. The Udyr dies to the judgment now, unless he stances it. That'd just be rude though. All right, so how are we dealing with this Braum? <clears throat> okay, so we start with a concussive palm, right? This is, I think this is pretty easy. We start with a concussive palm on what? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. We have judgment next turn. So we, we, we nopify the stand swap. And then when the Udyr attacks, then we judgment him. <clears throat> This is such a bad, this is such a bad deck. All right, wait. Whoa. <clears throat> wait a second. What if I didn't Nopify that one? What if I just let that one through? I mean, I, I think saving Nopify is kind of important, right? We'll save it for the Ice Shard later. Yeah, I think this is like the only thing I can Nopify anyway. Can't let that Udyr level. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, wait a second. This should mean he can't ever block this, right? <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> All right, mighty Poro down. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, you you can go ahead and and regen stance that. I couldn't possibly mind that. All right, what wins me this game? The thing is, if I have unyielding spirit, I do have literally infinite value, guys. All right. I mean, he can't win on the open attack. We're we've got palms and. Sh <laughs> Unyielding. Wait. Wait a second, guys. Wait a second. No copium. Hang on. We've got infinite value now. <laughs> we've got unyielding and the second detain. He can never get this off the board. It's okay. He doesn't use he he can't use both the slam shards. There's no way he knows, right? There's no way he knows. He'll use a regen one or something. He'll use the overwhelm one. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. See, look, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that this is the only unit in my deck. <laughs> We're good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So now we just we very simply. Just detain the Udir. Eh? Eh? Wait a second. If he has Avalanche, 
then I actually have to do this next turn. If he has Avalanche, I have to do this next turn. And I have enough mana. I don't need more mana for anything. So we just wait. We just wait. Okay. The go get it. Completely useless. Wait a second. Does that mean I should ever use go get it here before detaining? So the go get it summons an exact ephemeral copy, which means if I unyielding spirit the first one, the exact ephemeral copy will be immortal, but then it will lose that in my hand. That's so interesting. So I can use go get it and it the it will basically just turn into a palm in my hand, right? You still get an extra unit? Yeah, exactly. We still get an extra palm off that. So that means we're not detaining this turn, I think, right? Hmm. I guess I just use on yielding spirit right now. I'm just going to slam this. Hey, he can't stop this. He can't stop this at all. <laughs> That's right. He doesn't know. And now, if I use go get it on this, I get the immortal one, and the palm will stop an attack. We can detain next turn. It means we won't have enough mana for detained judgment, but I don't think we'll need it. Yeah, this is great. This is great. We're just printing a free unit in hand. Basically, we're playing a nine mana uh, tail of the dragon. Or a five mana tail of the dragon without a stun, depending on how you want to count it. <clears throat> how are you winning though we have infinite value we have an unkillable immortal you what do you mean how are we winning we'll draw the third detain <laughs> i don't know it'll happen you're also unbricking death mark by doing this that's true it's kind of genius so i can play the concussive palm this turn for zero mana or i can use it as a stun later unfortunately i have to use it as a stun it's 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 useless to use us here. So we basically just played a nine mana tail of the dragon, but it was worth it. Whatever. All right. But we're immortal. Ooh. Uh, that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, that, that never that never is a problem. Okay, so now yeah, we're, we're completely immortal. We've got the detain on the Uter. No problemo, right? We've got the palm on the Braum. Yeah, looks good. We can actually palm the Braum right now. Let's palm the Braum after like a normal human being. <laughs> All right. Did he just use the second Uter? He just used the second Uter. Wait, wait, wait. The fool. And now we've got the tin. So we palm the Braum before the attack so that he can't drag away the immortal one. So we're taking no damage this turn. We're taking zero damage this turn. <clears throat> All right. So we're palming the Brahming. We've got an immortal block and a detain. He's used his second Udir. I'm sure his hand is just useless here. Yeah, as expected. I think we have to let that through. I mean, we can't nobify this turn. That would be just, that wouldn't work. But it's a useless card here. It's a useless card. It does nothing. I mean, his units are getting a little scarier, but that's fine. That, sure, that, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so he has killed my free unit. That's fine. I don't think we needed that. And his Omen Hawk dies to this attack now. Wait, we've gotta we've gotta do the we've gotta do the, the we've gotta bluff it. Bluff it! There we go. Yeah, send in this attack. Come on, double attack me, dude. Yeah, get it in there. Woo! Alright, Omen Hawk down, Brahm stunned eternally, Udir is inside of me, let's fing go! <laughs> oh, <sweet> surrenders. <laughs> Alright. He actually can't win there. He actually can't win. This is so free. <laughs> Dude, I told you, this deck is genius. This, this is... <laughs>
all right so that one just worked out amazingly well uh, i have no idea how we were able to beat this one on our first try i think we we had a really really solid deck build off the bat and also we got really really lucky with our hands and our opponent this deck literally can't win with most hand states so uh yeah it took a lot of luck to get there but honestly we first tried two out of three of them now that's pretty good unfortunately for me i saved the uh the worst for last burst speed spells has even less access to summons and ways to control the opponent's board than fast speed spells and it's gonna be the hardest of the three of them all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed and join us in part three for can i beat legends of runeterra with 40 burst speed spells <laughs>